Bali has something for everyone. Whether you're looking for fun and adventure or a spiritual retreat, you can find it here on what's becoming one of the most popular islands in the world. Follow Yoko Coco as we explore the best of Bali. Going to the waterfalls. Let's go. Step now. How it's many? Around 300 uh, step. <laughs> We just finished the waterfront tour. It was amazing. Now it's raining on the way back, but we're already wet, so it doesn't really matter. Jungle mess. This is my umbrella. In, uh, Hindu beliefs about the rainbow. Here, it is the spirit comes to the waterfall good spirits of course it's good spirits yeah the same as a uh, rainbow so colorful so it must be pretty for all of five seconds and actually has managed to get bit by a monkey.
We're on our way to Pat Man's house. He is a healer here in Bali. They call him Balians. It's similar to a holistic doctor back home or osteopath. There are a couple things you need to know if you plan on visiting a Balian while you're in town. Ladies, first thing, if you're on your menstrual cycle, you can't do it. Here in Bali and in Indonesia, um, women are not allowed to visit temples while they're on their cycle. Also, money, you're never supposed to exchange money directly with them. And every Bali is different. Some, you know, prefer the women to be covered, you know, shoulders covered, chest covered, you know, your knees covered. We just are about to leave to Pat Man's and this is what we wore. So he is a little more comfortable with shoulders being out. We just got back to our hotel from Pac-Man's house and y'all, I got my entire life. Like, I feel like I'm flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good she feels. <laughs> but I, okay, I feel like Ashley always feels that way after a massage. Like I feel like the best actually is minutes after she's had a massage. Granted, this is not a massage but he does do body work so it kind of is it I felt just... like a massage on fire like it hurt really bad hurt me so good i will come back and do it again next year for sure we had different body issues me there was a spot on my foot that he kept messing with he kept messing with my neck my knees hurt all down here <laughs> which hurt really bad I had an issue in high school with my, I had a herniated disc and a sciatic nerve and he like lined up my back and then I had an issue with a cyst in my breast. Is that too much? It's up to you. The ladies want to know. So I had a cyst in my breast and he like pushed it out. Like I don't have anything there anymore. So that's amazing. Yeah, it's he's not, yeah, he healer. cleanses your spirit before he can work on you. Like he has to start, wasn't that what they said? Well, for you, because you had that blockage. Because I so, had a demon on me. She I don't really have a demon on her. She <laughs> said that there was a sadness on her that wasn't hers. He did not use the word demon ever. He said that she was carrying around somebody else's sadness. She had a spirit of sadness on her that wasn't hers, that she was carrying around. And I was so happy before. That's what's weird about it. Like, I felt like I came in there bubbly. And he still saw that on me, so that's um, interesting. Which is interesting because we were having a conversation yesterday about jealousy, and I told her that nobody's jealousy could stop her or block her from the things that God had from her, which is what Pat Man reiterated to her today. And what I um, encouraged her on, Pat Man kind of like brought both of those together in a confirmation. Which was crazy town because I never told him about that. She did it. Mysterious ways, y'all. I feel like anybody who has any issues needs to go see a Bali and healer. Like, yeah, needs to. I also feel like it's relatively inexpensive. Pac-Man is an equivalent to a U.S. 50 bucks. 50, 50 bucks. <laughs> Last year when I was in Bali, we um, went to two different Balians. The first one that we went to, um, he practiced completely different than Batman did. He actually couldn't practice on me because he does a lot of work with the scalp <laughs> and the head. And your girl wears some good 20 inch bundles. He couldn't practice on her because she, her wee was... And he couldn't much. touch my scalp. Wait, so. so when he did stuff, he wasn't like all up in your head because he was in mine. He was like, yeah. no. Like he was like on my face. <laughs> <laughs> so hard in her belly button that he like touched her spine. I've never seen a, a person smile so much. Like, and like he's full of so much joy. Like, and like childlike joy. joy. Like, yeah. And him and his wife are just sweet and amazing. They're amazing. And that, she speaks English. Yeah. So she can translate everything for And you. everything's at their home. So these people are literally welcoming you. Welcome. Yikes. <laughs> welcoming you into their home and treating you there which i feel like just brings a whole new mm -hmm. level of like 
comfort and mm -hmm. hospitality yeah. and it just makes it more personal so if it's something you're interested in do it google it his name is pac-man p-a-k-m-a-n thanks for watching if you like our videos click subscribe and don't forget to follow us on social media at go yoko coco get the details on where we stayed what we did and more on our blog yokococo.com